Hi, this is Collier Spreen with Avid Pro Audio. I'm going to show you some brand new features in Pro Tools 10 that don't fall under any specific category, but have some great functionality and capability. This is the second of two. A new feature in Pro Tools is the Bounce to iTunes option. Pro Tools 10 lets you bounce your mix to your iTunes library using the new Add to iTunes library option in the Bounce to Disk dialog. When this option is selected, the bounce file is copied to your local iTunes library and is automatically imported into iTunes the next time you launch the application. In the same bounce dialog box, you can also select Share with SoundCloud. When this option is selected, the bounced file is automatically uploaded to your SoundCloud account. SoundCloud is a social audio sharing site. Users create a public profile and fill it with audio they want to share. The bounce clip can then be played by anyone or by a select group of users. SoundCloud's easy sharing tools let you feature your tracks or playlists on any website. Very handy for debuting your latest mix on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. The new bus interrogation option lets you show or select tracks based on input or output assignment, send assignment, or hardware insert assignment. A quick way of identifying all tracks that use a specified input, internal bus, output bus, or hardware insert. You can right-click the assignment selector and choose these options. Select Assignments 2. It selects all the tracks that use a specific input, internal bus, output bus, or hardware insert. Show Assignments 2. It shows all tracks that use a specific input, internal bus, output bus, or hardware insert. Show Only Assignments 2. It shows only those tracks that use a specific input, internal bus, output bus, or hardware insert. Restore Previously Shown Tracks. This function restores the previous state of tracks hidden and shown, only available if tracks have actually been hidden by using the Show Only Assignments To option. Also new to the toolbar are Sync Status Indicators, formerly only available on the Session Setup window or the front panel of the Sync HD. These are an option available now in the Edit window, displaying Video Ref, which indicates a valid video signal, the Locked Indicator for Selected Clock Reference, and the Speed Cal, status of the incoming clock reference. 